What's going on everybody, C4 here, and today I'm very excited to bring you a series which is going to go over for the next two weeks, inspired by the greatest sporting event in the world, and that is the World Cup. So what I have done is comprised eight teams, group them by varying factors, and they will act out their own little mini World Cup. So you will get a breakdown of each individual team before each of the four quarterfinal matchups but today in game number one it is going to be the golden angels against the motown buckeyes let's introduce you to the rosters now the golden angels build up of chargers rams 49ers and raiders will feature philip rivers at the quarterback spot with todd Gurley and melvin gordon running it at wide receiver we have keenan allen jordy nelson brandon cooks with hunter henry and jared cook at tight end Offensive line will feature Donald Penn, Calicio Assembly, Rodney Hudson, Roger Saffold, and Andrew Whitworth. Defensively, Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack set the edge for a terrifying tandem with Aaron Donald and Sue inside, the best front four in the tournament. Linebackers Tahir Whitehead, Reuben Foster, and Denzel Perryman with the secondary featuring Casey Hayward, Richard Sherman, Marcus Peters, LaMarcus Joyner, and Jaquiski Tart. Special teams have Greg Zerline and John... The Motown Buckeyes, built up of players from the Cleveland Browns, Cincinnati Bengals, Indianapolis Colts, and Detroit Lions, feature Andrew Luck at quarterback, trying to prove to everyone that he can throw a football, Joe Mixon and Duke Johnson at running back, with A.J. Green, Golden Tate, Marvin Jones, and T.Y. Hilton at wide receiver. Eifert and Doyle make up the tight ends, while the offensive line is Decker, Betonio, Treader, Zeitler, and Wagner. On the defensive side, we got Carlos Dunlap and Miles Garrett setting the edge with Geno Atkins and Ziggy Ansah inside. Linebackers Jamie Collins, Jared Davis, and Vontez Perfect make up an aggressive bunch with big play Slay, William Jackson, Body Calhoun, Malik Hooker, and Glover Quinn in the secondary. Adam Vinatieri and Britton Colquitt make up the special. Uh, we're coming up third and two for the Motown Buckeyes trying to move the ball down the field. Andrew Luck wide open is oh who's that Golden Tate? Said he's a slot wide receiver, not anymore. As Andrew Luck connects for the big first down, gain of 32. Once again on the save drive, another third down scenario, and they are going to the air as Andrew Luck drops off, waits, patience, patience. Oh no, that was just a bad throw as they're going to have to settle for a field goal on the opening drive. No! The Golden Angels! the t Probably the favorites to win the World Cup. And on their opening drive, Phillip Rivers gets blown up, fumbles the ball, and Carlos Dunlop is able to recover with this. He got out. What is he doing scrambling out there? Phillip Rivers? Tap typical. Player playing outside, trying to be Mr. Big Shot in international play when they're not at the club level. Oh, my God. The Buckeyes now in the red zone trying to make something happen. Jack Doyle, could he be? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, let's go, Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck holds onto the ball, unlike Phillip Rivers, and takes it in for the touchdown as the Buckeyes trying to get the biggest upset of the World Cup underway. Now going up 10-0. All right, here we go. The Golden Angels in the red zone, trying to get back into this ball game here. Oh, wide open, wide open. Make the, oh my God, Phillip Rivers, what are you doing? Oh no, oh, and he makes the worst tackle of all time. But Malik Hooker with the interception, as this is, this is unbelievable. Like the Golden Angels have an 87 base overall. The Buckeyes have like a 79. It's like the worst by far in the tournament. And the Golden Angels are doing everything to continually shoot themselves in the foot. But luckily, Philip Rivers is able to make a form tackle here to block the pick six. Oh my god. Big play slay. Comes up with a pick. The Golden Angels thought they got out of it by forcing the Browns, better known as the Buckeyes, to punt on the last drive. And then Philip Rivers just hits a glorified punt to Darius Slay. Pathetic. Pathetic showing from the Golden Angels thus far. Third and ten. What are the Buckeyes going to do? Third and ten. The Buckeyes go deep. AJ Green gets the catch and almost waltzes in. Blown coverage. He's a, how do you cover him in general? All right. I want to remain, remain as impartial as possible. But when we get in this scenario, it's C4 special time with Joe Mixon. Third and one. They get the edge as the Buckeyes get in for another touchdown, which should seal the game and be the biggest upset. The one seed versus the six seed. 
Oh, there might be the big play we need. Phillip Rivers just handed off to Todd Gurley. Gets 15 additional yards from the face mask. I don't know if they have a legitimate shot of being able to come back, but at least try to make it respectable. All right, we're in fourth down territory here. Fourth and 10 for the Golden Angels as they try to get anything out of this matchup. Oh, no. Oh, and there's the sack. Instantly, Glover Quinn already had his interception. Gets the game sealer. Sack. To, oh. Shout out, man. Shout out to the Buckeyes. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is just embarrassing. This is a defense that has Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa, Aaron Donald, Dominic and Sue, Richard Sherman, Marcus Peters, Casey Hayward. And they are getting absolutely thrashed. This is embarrassing. Oh, and garbage time. There you go. Nice little connection there from Phillip Rivers to Jordy Nelson. The whitest tandem I think there could possibly be in the NFL to make it just not as one-sided, not as lopsided. Still embarrassing performance from the Golden Angels. And there we go. This one finishes up the upset of the tournament. I need to correct myself from here. This was the number one seed against the eight seed. And the eight seed Motown Buckeyes built up a player from the Cleveland Browns, Cincinnati Bengals, Indianapolis Colts, and Detroit Lions just destroyed the Golden Angels, comprised of Chargers, Rams, 49ers, and Raiders, 31 to 10. Looking at the box score here, Andrew Luck, 200 yards, two touchdowns on the day. Uh, Phillip Rivers had the touchdown in garbage time, two costly interceptions, plus a lost fumble. Running the ball, Joe Mixon, 15 carries, 75 yards. Luck had a rushing touchdown uh, as well. Big time receiving day for Jordy Nelson, who did get that garbage time touchdown, but ultimately, you know, Golden Tate, 93 yards. That big, long touchdown run was a thing of beauty. And on the defensive side, we got some tackles. We got a sack from Khalil Mack, a sack from Glover Quinn, a sack from Tahir Whitehead. Oh, Slay! I, I, I think we're going to give game ball here. I think it's Malik Hooker. Malik Hooker will get the game ball. It's his interception, I believe, was the turning point for the Buckeyes as they are now moving on to the semifinals. So with that victory, the Buckeyes are moving on to the semifinals where they await the winner of the Dixieland Football Club. Dixieland FC, made up of players from the Falcons, Panthers, Titans, and Chiefs, or the DMV Quakers, built up of players from the Steelers, Eagles, Redskins, and Ravens. That will be next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and you will come back. And hopefully you're enjoying the real World Cup. I know I sure am. Thank you for watching. As always, if it's your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you're enjoying it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.